Hey guys, this is MadKids101, with a video I've been wanting to make for a while, but I haven't really gotten around to it, and I haven't taken enough time to make it. Um, but this video is going to be on uh, things that you can do on your Mac if you're a programmer or you're um, interested in programming or something that'll make your life easier. Um, because a lot of the time, I find that, you know, Apple... They made, like, Apple Script, they made Automator, and a bunch of other stuff to make your life easier, and no one uses them. And so this is mainly going to be a tutorial on Automator and Apple Script. And I hope a lot of you out there who who either want to learn programming or who want to just make their life easier will uh, watch this and see. So, first thing I'm going to be teaching you is Apple Script. You have to have Apple Script Editor. I think you get it with Xcode. It might just come with your Mac. I don't know. Um, Apple Script, it's like a, it's like, uh, it, it's a fully functional programming language, um, but it's mainly used not for big things, but for small little scripts, obviously. So the first thing I'm going to be teaching you how to do is deal with other applications using Apple Script, and that's the main thing that I do with Apple Script at this point. So you can say tell, application, and then I'll say text edit, for instance, and here you say Intel, and in here you're writing Apple Script the text that it will do. And I can say activate, and this if text that it isn't open will open it, and if it is open it'll activate it. And so now if we run this, text that it opens up, and it opens up real quickly too. And let's say we want to make it type something in text edit. We're going to tell the application systems events system events Intel. And in here we're going to write something like, well, let's say we want to type something, we'll type keystroke, hello, world, for instance. And now if we run this, it'll type hello world. The reason we can't just say tell application text edit to do this is because systems events, or system events, is a special application, um, I don't know if it's actually a process or not, maybe it's just Apple Script Magic, that responds to the keystroke stuff and a bunch of other stuff that nothing else responds to, other than, I think Finder responds to a lot of stuff, too. Um, let's say we want to hit enter. You can type key code 36, and this is, once again, another systems of events magic. Key code, and then we enter the key code, and 36 happens to be the key code for new line. Now, if we do that, it'll hit enter. I'll clear this out, and if we do it again, it'll type it, and we keep, keep on running it, it'll keep on typing. Same thing. Um... How about we write another line in here, just to prove that it actually does that. And there you go, you can see, I'll just hit enter again, and we can run it, and it'll write that thing again and again. Unfortunately, it doesn't put an error. A new line at the end. Um, next thing, that's how, to, that's how to type stuff into apps. You can obviously, you can make it I am someone in iChat, or anything like that. Um, so that's pretty useful. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is dialogues. Um, you can type display dialogue, and you have a couple things you can say. Here's the contents of the dialogue, so I'll make it say, what's your name? And this will be something where they have to give an answer. And in order to tell them that they have to give an answer, we have to say default answer is something. And we'll say the buttons are okay. Uh, and I'll say default button, one that means that the first button in the window will be highlighted and glowing. And now if we run this, it'll say, what's your name? All right, Alex, I'll hit enter, and there we go. It'll even say that. And text returned, that's pretty cool. So now we can say, set my variable to the text returned of the result. And I think this is, it's, um, it's a quite verbose language Apple script in general. Because you can tell exactly what this is doing, even if you don't know code, because it's in English. You're setting my variable to the text returned of the result. That's pretty verbose, if you ask me. So let's, let's run this. It won't do anything special. But now that we have my variable, we can say display dialog my variable default answer nothing. How about we don't put a default answer? We just uh, say buttons, then it won't um, ask them to type anything in. And now we can do this, and we can run it. 
So what's your name, Alex? And it'll say Alex. I can also say set my string to my uh, how about hello and my variable. And and is like a dot in PHP or a plus in Java or whatever. It does the same thing, just the ampersand instead. And now here we can say my string. And um, we can run this. And I'll say Alex, and I'll say hello, Alex. And I think that's pretty cool, because in four lines of code, I made something that talks to me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to run terminal commands or shell script commands. Um, you can tell any application that responds to this. I'll use Finder. You can use Terminal itself. A couple apps do this. They do shell script. And you can say, say hello world, for instance. This is a terminal command right here. If I run it, hello world. Um, yeah, and it'll run that terminal command. Now, if I copy this and I put back that code we had before where I, where I set my variable to that thing, I can go up here and paste this in and say, and then ampersand my very, or how about my, yeah, my variable. Um, now let's run this. I'll say Alex, and I'll say Alex, and then I'll say hello, Alex. Now, I could also make it say, hello, Alex, by putting my string here, and it'll put the full thing. Hello, Alex. And I click OK. And that's kind of uh, shell scripts. I'm sure you can figure that out. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is loops. And uh, this is really easy. Repeat 10 times and repeat. This will run this code 10 times. And here I can say display dialog. How about... Hello, buttons, okay, default answer one, all right, and it'll say hello, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, because I, I said the default answer to one, not the default button to one, um, it's pretty funny, actually, and, you know, hit enter a billion times, um, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show you. Obviously, you can, you can do a lot with what I've shown you. And another thing I love about AppleScript is if you right-click, you can go down and you can click any of these blocks of code that they pre-put in here. So um, you can check, you know, there are clauses like if statements and stuff. There's image manipulation I think is pretty cool. So, you know, you can set um, the variable to image that. PNG, and then you can select the variable, and then, or something, I don't know, image manipulation, counterclockwise, and then it'll go through, and it'll make this code for you. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, that's Apple Script for you. It's quite useful. Um, there are tons of things you can do. It's, it's really an Apple thing, because Apple makes apps that are just easy to use, that are too easy to use sometimes, that, you know, they're really powerful. And that's what AppleScript is. So I'm not going to save that. All right, now the next thing, and the last thing I'm going to show you is Automator. And this is kind of like AppleScript. It's um, very verbose. It's actually a graphical version, pretty much. And you can create apps with Automator. You can create tons of stuff. I'm going to create a standard workflow. And, yeah. I can go in, I can make it, I can go to utilities, and I believe there's a terminal command here, yep. And here I can say echo usernames are as follows. I can say ls hash users. And then I can go to, I think somewhere there is speak text or something here. Let me go to, it's probably text, definitely speak text. Um, and then if we run this, it'll say... Usernames are as follows. Shared Alex file vault hidden lay spotted toe chips M-A-C-H-E-A-D-S-1-0-1 test. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. I, I really love the layout. I love the GUI. I love everything about Automator. And I think Apple couldn't have done a better job. Um, I certainly hope they made it easy to make new ones of these for themselves. I don't know. Anyway, um, another thing you can do, for instance, is you can say, 
get folder contents, maybe I'll say text, ask for text, and um, enter folder path. And then we'll go to photos, how about, and we can rotate images. Let's just drag this guy in there. Uh, and yeah, it added that for us. And now I'll create a new folder. I'll call it like um, test images and take a couple screenshots and I'll drag them in here. And now if I run this, users Alex desktop test images and woo it rotated the images and put them over on my desktop I'm sure yeah you can say copy them to anywhere right there and that's pretty cool in my opinion um, we don't have to do this but they did that as a precaution so this will rotate the originals if I do yeah, test images um, now if I go here these are all rotated I think that's it's pretty useful to be able to do stuff with images. I, I do a lot of stuff with images, and normally I wrote like an Objective C program to do it, and it's not the best thing ever. So uh, this is really it's really terrific, and you can also take video snapshot. You can take a picture. There's just so much cool stuff that you can do. Um, maybe I'll do one last thing because we have some time. I'll say ask for text. Say enter website URL. Alright, and this is kind of overcomplicating it, but whatever. I'll go to files. How about I'll go to internet, download URLs to desktop, and this will. This basically equals the path to that file, and then you can go here, and you can say open finder items. And now, if we run this, I click OK. I'll allow that. And right here, my Safari will come up, and I'll have Google.com. It'll be on my site. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put this now. There are a couple other cool things you can do. I don't have time to show show all of them to you. They, obviously, there you can do pretty much anything with this stuff. You can even do stuff with your iPod, and, you know. I'm sure in updates, oh, look, look at that. ScreenFlow makes um, stuff. Wow. All right, so I guess I can make my app support um, Automator. Wow. Um, anyway, yeah, um, that's basically, this has been a tutorial on how to use Apple Script and Automator. Uh, that's all I really, that's what it was on. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching Mac Kids in the One. Subscribe, and goodbye.